Hogwarts is threatened. Do your duty to the school. Do you know I've always wanted to use that spell? Besides, it's my only proper line in Deathly Hallows. I mean, really, really, they could have just used the hat. I can teach you to bottle fame, brew glory, even stopper death. But most important, build up your part with lines such as... Where are my detonators, Mr. McLean? That's right, Harry. Now, don't forget to speak very, very clearly. By the way, Ginny, I found your jumper. It was on the cat. Two suits. Out for a walk in the moonlight, Lupin. Well, that's because I'm a werewolf, Snipe. Sorry to hear about your broomstick, Harry. The one Mr. Potter chooses the wizard. He's after you. He did great things. Terrible, but great. Just like me as Caligula and I, audience. You're not going mad, Harry. I can see them too. The only people who can are those who've seen death. Plus, of course, the people in post-production who put the horses in using CGI. Ah, oh, yes. Good morning. <laughs> the Guinea. Dinner. Come. Dindins. The boy must die. And if you do die down here, you're welcome to share my toilet. <laughs> Alistair Moody, XR, a ministry, more content, end of story, goodbye, the end. Which of you can tell me how many unforgettable curses there are? My dear girl, I fear you are not destined for the art of divination. You have a soul as dry as the pages of the book to which you so desperately cleave. Have I said something? Christmas is cancelled. Bloody hell, Harry. Only a person who wanted to find the stone but not use it would be able to get it. Even Michael Gamble would not have thought of that one. I am sorry, dear, but it seems to me that to question my practices is to question the ministry and, by extension, the minister himself. <laughs> You're a wizard, Harry, and I migrate to a Tommy Cooper with a devil accent. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, I should have told you that. Dobby has never been asked to sit by a wizard, sir. Not I. Oh, bad Dobby, bad Dobby. A Dobby must always speak in third person, sir. <coughs> but Dobby didn't. <coughs> so Dobby now has to punish himself, sir. <coughs> well, now, if it isn't my old friend Frodo Baggins, we must journey together to do battle with the evil forces of pseudo-quasi-Celtic mysticism in the land of Gryffindor. Oh no, no, Gandalf. You're in the wrong story. This is Harry Potter. <laughs> we're not allegorical. No, no, no. We're more Tom Brown school days meets Bewitched. Hmm.